a look at photos of yourself from when you were younger. From the photo albums your family asked to see every Christmas. Well, I came across an exquisite snap of me from when I was about ooh, two or three. So I'm sitting on our patio, I've got my fluffy pink coat on and I'm eating handfuls of dirt. Now, despite me deeply, deeply judging my younger self for doing this, it could be said it was a very, very important discovery of mine. I mean, I don't go around eating dirt anymore. Babies are like that though. Every opportunity, good, bad or weird, teaches them something new. When is it that we stop being like that? When is it that our minds stop being so spongy? And what is with this incessant need to belittle and condescend the younger generations? I believe there is plenty to learn from the attitudes of babies. For example, they're very, very open-minded. When they meet a person and form a connection, it's based on whether they like the person or that person makes them laugh. It has nothing to do with that person's background or social status. It's not important. And it could be said it's because the babies are a little bit selfish. And I'm not saying to be selfish all the time, but a little bit more love and self-appreciation self is so, so important. They're also very, very resilient. The only reason that you're walking and talking today is because as a baby, you pushed yourself to do these things. I believe there is definitely lost credit here, but babies aren't the issue. It's older children, teenagers, people my age, there are so many examples of what teenagers have achieved. The first person that comes to mind might be Greta Thunberg. She's what, 16? And she's turned the tables on climate change, opening up discussions that were not being had before. Another example, Malala. At age 11, she was writing stories for her local BBC news station. And then at 15, my age, she was shot for voicing her opinions, flown to a foreign country, survived the surgery, and then became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. You can't look at these examples and say that teenagers are too stupid and too immature to understand what's going on. I believe that we do not get the respect we deserve. We want to be part of the problem solving and decision making before we hit our so-called prime. It's in our nature. And... After all, if you ignore the cliché, children are the future.